Can you talk to me about the, the ending or the endings of this movie? Well, we uh, we finish with the uh, the workerless factory uh, with the, uh, the the only two people indoors apparently uh, playing cards while the uh, the products uh, come out of the uh, the factory line, uh, and then we go outside to where the other so-called workers are uh, fishing. Um, and those who aren't fishing are dancing on the terrace. Uh, I mean, whether the implication is that they're being paid uh, while the factory is, is working, um, which of course has no uh, correlation to, uh, to life as we know it, but uh, it does uh, lead naturally into uh, Louis and Emile being uh, completely free to go their own way uh, and, and resume life on the road. Uh, I think it's quite integrated and, and quite succinct in uh, the, uh, uh, the way it is saying that uh, uh, soon we shall be in the uh, utopian condition of, of people not having to work uh, and, and be able to live a life of leisure. Uh, but w as one doesn't believe that this was ever likely to happen in practice, um, it must be regarded, I think, as a, a, a just a rather neat uh, ending to the film and that it wasn't really what uh, uh, René Clair was advocating as the uh, the ultimate aim of life, uh, though um, it may be seen as satirical of the, uh, uh, the idea that uh, factories aren't going to need men anymore, they're just going to be able to produce the goods well uh, people enjoy whatever they uh, uh, choose to occupy their leisure with. Uh, it is perhaps a bit ambiguous, but I don't think it's meant to be taken seriously, but it does uh, round the film out quite neatly.